So at some point in everybody's life out there, we're gonna need a new mattress. And if you're searching for one online, you've obviously got a lot of different options to choose from. But when it comes to especially heavier people, your search results are gonna narrow a little bit. There are a few different ones out there in the online space to choose from, but what do you gotta know about the Sava HD from Sava, the most supportive and durable option from the brand, and the Winkbed Plus, which is technically the fourth firmness level from the Winkbed. Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard. Over here, we review all things online beds and bedding products. So if you need any more information about a bed that you've maybe been checking out recently, head on over to our website, myslumberyard.com or check down below in the description box of this video for so much more. If you enjoy this video, you maybe get something out of it, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel for so much more. But in this video, what I'm gonna cover is essentially the policies that these two beds are backed by. Then we're gonna delve into the similarities between the two and then the major things that set them apart from each other. We'll cover a couple X factors that they both have going on. We'll cover their pricing. And at the very end, I'll even sum things up with a final verdict for you. So stick around. But without further ado, let's get into this thing. All righty, so let's crack right into this big dog bed comparison. You know, all my big dogs out there say woof one time. You know what I'm saying? Woof. Enough about that. Before I get into this thing, I do wanna cover the general policies that should apply to them. So what are you getting in terms of shipping, returns, trial periods, and warranties with the Sava HD and Winkbed Plus? And before I get into that stuff, I do wanna clarify that Sava and Winkbeds, the brands did send us these beds for free to review and tell you guys about them, but you should get completely free shipping in either case, though the shipping methods may differ a little bit from mattress to mattress. So for starters, the Winkbed Plus mattress will likely show up at your doorstep with completely free bed in a box shipping. All you gotta do is just drag that big box in your home and unbox the thing, which is relatively easy and fun to do. Though you probably will want a friend there to help you unbox the thing as it is quite a burly and heavy hybrid mattress, kind of difficult to unbox by yourself. In the case of Sava HD, this mattress sitting right behind me will show up at your doorstep with completely free complimentary white glove delivery. And that basically means that a local delivery team will actually hand deliver this bed to your home full size and set it up for you. And in a lot of cases, they'll even remove your old bed at no extra cost. White glove delivery is a really nice service to have, especially if you live in a really remote location or something like a high rise where it's really, you know, inconvenient to unbox a bed in a box mattress. So white glove delivery, always a cinch. Now you also get a sleep trial once these beds are in your possession. In the case of Wink Bed Plus, this bed comes with a 120 night trial period. So you get a little over four full months to test the bed out at home risk-free. And for the Sava HD, they actually offer a 365 night trial period. So an entire year to really test this thing out to make sure if it's gonna be right for you or not. And if it's not, in either case here, for whatever reason, you do have a return option with these beds. For Wink Bed Plus, you get completely free returns within that trial period timeframe. And though the brand will probably ask you to try it out for at least 30 full nights before you make your final decision. But for Safa HD, since they incur a little bit more cost shipping this bed to you with that complimentary white glove delivery service, you know, they're probably gonna charge you a nominal transportation fee if you do wanna send it back. But we highly doubt many sleepers out there are gonna be doing that anytime soon as it's quite a nice mattress. So in the case you do wanna keep it, it's back by a lifetime warranty. And I believe that is also the case for Winkbed Plus. So if you need any more information about the policy stuff that I just kind of covered, check down below in the description box. We should have some more helpful details for you down there. But now let's get into the main similarities between these two. And obviously, you know, if you take one look at them, you can see that these are really burly and supportive hybrid beds. And furthermore, both are designed to support a substantial amount of weight on a nightly basis. So if you are a much heavier individual, both of these are gonna be great options for you. They use pocketed coil layers that are comprised of a thicker gauge coil to really, you know, give your body type a lot more support than your average coil system. And they also use reinforced edges along the perimeter of the bed to provide some really hefty edge support on these things. Now, if you didn't know already, pocketed coils are basically individually siloed springs that, you know, go a long way in increasing a bed's overall support and stuff like motion isolation, airflow, and breathability, stuff like that. But in general, in a nutshell here, if you are a much heavier person, you probably do want a bed with pocketed coils to offer you that support advantage rather than an all foam one. But either way you go here, you're getting a really supportive coil mattress. Now above those coil systems, you also have various transition and comfort foam layers that add up to give both of them more of a supportive pillow top feel. They both use nice European pillow tops on top for their main comfort 
separate layers, so we'd say that both just feel really similar, and they both just strike a nice balance of support and overall comfort for heavier folks. Both also look a cut above a lot of other online beds in the space. You know, the Safa HD uses this golden embroidery and an organic cotton cover, and the Wink Bed Plus looks like a really nice mattress as well. So if you want a more luxurious premium offering, these two are definitely the way to go. Now, one of the first most apparent differences between these two is gonna come in terms of overall firmness level. So for the Safa HD, we would say this bed for most heavier folks is gonna feel to be right around a medium give or take. So it should be a great option right off the bat for all sleeper types, back, side, stomach, and combination. So if you're a combination sleeper like myself who likes to rotate between different sleeping positions all throughout the night, you know, the Safa HD might be the way to go for your specific preference. Now in terms of the Wink Bed Plus, it's gonna be a little bit firmer than Safa HD. We clock it at right around a medium firm on our scale. So it should work out just fine for all sleeper types, but it could be a little bit better for back and stomach sleepers who are looking for a bit more support from their hybrid bed. Keep in mind though that firmness is a really subjective thing that usually is based on how much you weigh. And so that's especially the case for heavier folks. And we usually determine firmness levels based on the size of an average sized person. But we are taking into account that both of these beds are designed for especially heavier folks. So that's the firmness level in either case that we're really considering here. But if those firmnesses aren't exactly sounding right to you, both Sava and Wink Bed make a number of different mattresses that are also worth your consideration. We'll have them all linked down below in the description for you guys to peruse. Now, in terms of fun facts, there are a couple things that these beds have going for them that set them apart from the you know, fray of your usual standard online bed. Apart from the complimentary white glove delivery service and really friendly policies that the Sapa HD offers, this bed also incorporates a zone support system within the latex foam layer that is found within one of the transitional layers in the mattress. I believe it's divided into five separate zones, so it should go a long way in keeping your back more neutrally aligned at night. And it could even help those who suffer from chronic back pain on a nightly basis. Now, in terms of the Wink Bed Plus, they really put this bed to the test in terms of overall durability. They actually simulated 20 years of extended use with a mattress rollator with one of their models of this mattress at their facility. So when you go the route of Wink Bed Plus, you can rest assured knowing that you're getting a really durable and supportive hybrid bed that's gonna last you for a number of years. But now let's get into pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for either bed? And I do wanna preface this section right up top by saying that mattress pricing within this space changes often. So if you want the most current up-to-date information, check down below in the description for it. But as of when I'm recording this video, you can expect to pay right around the $2,750 mark after discount for the queen size Saba HD. Again, this might've changed in the future, so check in the description to see whatever discounts or savings we can find for you. And in terms of the Wink Bed Plus, a queen size is currently going for right around the $1,700 range after discount. So you're gonna be saving quite a bit of chunk of change with the Wink Bed Plus compared to the Saba HD. So if you want the more affordable option after discount, definitely go that route. Again, we'll link whatever sorts of promotions that we can find from Wink Bed down below in the description box to you know, save you the most amount of money possible. Cause that's one of our main objectives over here at the Slumber Yard is to help you out. And if you do use those discounts that are in our descriptions, it actually goes a long way in helping to support us over here at the Slumber Yard and help out our channel. And we always really appreciate that from you guys. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this comparison. Either way you go here, you're getting a really hefty, durable, burly hybrid bed that's designed specifically for heavier people, much heavier people at that. But you know, when it comes down to it, who is each one gonna be best for and why? At the end of the day, I think this thing really comes down to the type of sleeper you are and your overall budget that you're willing to spend. But we'd say look into the Safa HD mattress if you want an ultra supportive and durable pillow top bed that's right around a medium and you don't mind spending up for a luxurious option that also comes with white glove delivery and a zone support feature. And then look into the Wink Bed Plus if you also want a supportive and durable hybrid mattress that's closer to a medium firm for back and stomach sleepers. And you maybe want the more affordable option between the two. But hey, that is just our take on it over here at the Lumberyard, what is yours? When it comes to this comparison, if you're a bigger person, which one are you ultimately gonna go with? Write us down below in the comments and we would love to hear from you. Now, if you need any more information, as I've stated earlier, time and time again, check the description box. There should be a ton of helpful resources and related content down there for you. And if you enjoyed this video and you maybe got something out of it, we helped you out towards your next online mattress decision, drop a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel for so much more, but that's gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with the Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well out there and like always, sleep right, sleep down. We'll see you next time.